When you use quotes, your listener hears what you want them to do in a manner that is more acceptable to them. Use quotes when you want to be more powerful and direct with your language. Quotes allow you to tell your prospect something that you may feel uncomfortable saying otherwise. So this concept of NLP, I like to think of as kind of like the idiom, uh, keeping up with the Joneses, right? If I tell you, did you know, Matt just got a new watch. Whether you outwardly express it or not, you're going to think to yourself, when was the last time I got a new watch? Maybe I should go get a new watch. Matt got a new watch. I should probably get a new watch. Right? Like that kind of runs through your head. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a reason why social media is so powerful. And there's a reason why people will flex on social media. Right? Damien, you and I just had this conversation. It's weird. Um, how we were talking about like people will go on there and take pictures in front of cars they don't own. They'll take pictures in front of jets that they, they're not even gonna be on, <laughs> right? Like they're fueling it up and they're like, right, it's my jet. No, it's not. But they want to give that impression that they are of that socioeconomic demographic that should be respected. Because to a human being, it is incredibly important that we follow the leader. We are pack animals. Whether you feel like you're an individualist or not, we are pack animals. Quotes leverage that feeling to the 10th degree. So what you do is you quote somebody of notability. And I'm sure you've heard this when you're talking to Kyle about like attracting new agents into EXP. You edify someone right? You give them authority within this realm. Oh, let me set up a call. We'll talk to Kyle. He's done this. He's done that. He's been doing it for this long. He's helped this many people. He's done this many things. You're edifying this human being, right? So the person you're talking to thinks highly of them. Well, you could talk about your mom, your priest, your butcher, your lawyer, your broker, a top agent in my office, right? I mean, I put a bunch of people on there, but your title rep. <laughs> or your better title rep. I got you. Oh, we, I got you. Okay. Well, no, no, no. So can you give an example? The next slide is a bunch of examples of how to do books. Not more examples. He wanted an example. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the ironic thing. So here's the ironic thing. They don't have to be someone of power. They don't have to be someone of note. For a quote to be impactful, it's just simply giving them so and so said this. And what that does is it clicks that internal, I need to keep up with the Joneses mentality. So when you actually do go and give a quote, work. Coach, yeah, I broke it. There we go. So here's an example of some quotes. I was talking to my broker and he told me, reduce the price now on every listing you have, or your listings are going to sit there for another six months based on current market conditions. So who did I quote? Broker. My broker. I'm not telling you. It's, hey, Spencer, I was talking to my broker the other day and he said, reduce your price now. What's that? There we go. Yes. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> I use them on everybody. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm telling them, hey, this person that I respect, their opinion. So because I respect them, quid pro quo, you should respect them. 
said embedded command, which is an action that I want you to take as my client, right? And then I gave a benefit or a, a consequence of taking or not taking that action. So my attorney says, sellers must choose an experienced agent like me who generates quality buyers for their home. That's what you want, isn't it? So what's in that one? We've got embedded command and a tie down. Here's a cool little trick that I use on the inside when I use tie downs. Add dumbass to the end of your tie down. <laughs> Because so often we will upswing with our tie downs, isn't it? But if I want to call someone a dumbass, I'm not going to go, isn't it dumbass? <laughs> I'm going to go, isn't it dumbass? Do you hear the difference? Yeah. You have to downswing when you call someone a dumbass. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> right? Otherwise, it's just not very powerful. <laughs> dumbass? So, like... And that's what you're looking for, isn't it? Right? Like, it downswings. <laughs> so when you deliver your tie downs, think tie down, dumbass, or dumas. <laughs> so with this one, we're quoting an attorney, right? Whether you like them or not, they're edifiable. There's someone that is reputable. We should probably listen to that person. And they say that they should choose an experienced agent. Whenever you refer to yourself during an embedded command, open your hand and touch your chest. This is a very endearing, nonverbal way of inviting someone and making yourself look approachable, likable, trustable. Open hand like me. Listen to me. Trust me. Weird, but it works. So you've got your embedded command, which is like me, who generates quality buyers for their home. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? See, it just flows. <laughs> so Clayton, a seller of mine who refused to accept a good price on their home came back to me and said, we wish we'd listen and followed your advice. I butchered the shit out of this one. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is why you don't drink when you make slide decks. <laughs> <laughs> the words are there, but so was Jack. <laughs> so we wish we'd listened and followed your advice and did what you said and accepted the first offer you brought us, we would have made a much bigger profit. Super run on sentence. There's some commas that probably should be in there. It might even be three dumbass. sentences. <laughs> I'm the dumbass. But the concept is still true. Yeah. I'm... See, when you talk out loud, like it just kind of flows with commas and periods where they're supposed to go. But when you put that on paper, it doesn't translate the same. <laughs> um, so my dog approved me saying this. Um, but yeah, so right here, I'm referencing a past client, a past seller, someone that was in the exact same position that you're in now. This is what they said. 